What is going on Zone Nation? Ozone here and I am perfectly fine. I'm not sick anymore. So I am here to bring you the official Call of Duty Black Ops 3 campaign trailer. Now I'm going to be showing this trailer but there is not going to be audio I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be talking over it due to copyright reasons. But there is some crazy crazy information I'm here with. Now this information is leading all the way back to World at War so just stay tuned. Alright, so Black Ops 3 engrosses players in a dark and gritty future when a new breed of Black Ops soldiers has emerged and the lines between humanity and military technology have been blurred. You must navigate the hotspots of a new cold war to find your missing brothers. While much has changed, one thing remains the same. Everything you know may be wrong. How far down the rabbit hole are you willing to uncover the disturbing truth? Now that right there is the whole plot. Now. What I'm going to be talking about is how it starts at uh, World at War. Now we're seeing these cutscenes. Every single campaign, every single story, if it goes from 1, 2, 3 to 4, there's always a little cutscene in World at War. If it talks about Japan, shows some footage. Now in the Black Ops 3 campaign, we see footage of floods, bullet footage of shipwrecks and other things like that so it's bringing back the old times into reality. How reality hits you in the face and connects to the game. Now. In this game we have new weaponry, streaks, and guns. They're bringing back the VTOL. We got new, looks like jets and other things. It reminds me of Star Wars a little bit. And it also brings me into Advanced Warfare like. And it's also like Black Ops 1 due to the um, footage and the eyes and numbers which I'll be talking about. Now we have some controversy with Dr. Salem. Who is Dr. Salem and what is he doing in Black Ops 3? What is his plot behind everything? Is he is he going to be the good guy or is he going to change and be the bad guy? It's just a twist like Call of Duty Ghost. So Dr. Salem, so people think that Dr. Salem is the one that created mind hacking. Now mind hacking is when you see the guy's back of the head and you see the, all these blue electricity the voltage is going into the back of his head. It looks like the Matrix. You ever seen that movie? Now, mind control means that they're going to be taking over their mind. And at some point in the trailer, if you go and listen to the audio, he says he says something about his mind. I can't even control my mind anymore. So that is when mind hacking comes in. And there's also a new thing called the Frozen Forest. So in the Frozen Forest, there's a controversy that people think that Dr. Salem tells you to free your mind and just picture yourself in the Frozen Forest where the frozen floors comes alive and everything's cold and solid. But yet, if we're looking at the trailer, there's a guy that flies from the ground backwards into the frozen forest where you see him screaming, but it's really quick. So you have to really look at that. So what does the frozen forest have to do with mind hacking? Let alone, what does it have to do with the game? When I get new information, I'll be telling you guys about that. Now next off is at a certain part in the trailer, It could be, I think it's 214, please correct me if I'm wrong, um, there's a Modern Warfare 2 Panzer Track. Now I don't know what type of Panzer Track this is, it's either a Tiger Tank, a T-34, and, or there's one that starts with a K. I don't know because I don't know the color. I'm really good if I see the color I automatically know what it is, but I can't really tell so maybe you guys can get in uh, on that information. Now we do have our original characters. We see pictures of Reznov and um, Mason and all the other characters from Black Ops 1. Now there's a new character voice. People think that Christopher Maloney from Law & Order SVU is at the end of the trailer and he's part of the campaign. Now every single game has a popular person that takes place in this just like Advanced Warfare with, with Kevin Spacey. Now we also have the original characters like I said which was James C. Burns as Woods, Gary Oldman as Reznov, Rich McDonald as Mason, but we already know that Jaden Hudson, is, which is Ed Harris from Black Ops 1, is not part into this because that voice is not even connected to Black Ops 3. So Black Ops 3 has a connection to World at War due to the old times, just like everyone wanted Model for 2 and they were uh, sending Vondahar tweets. So Vondahar does look at tweets and he will respond if it's a good enough tweet. And he did incorporate the old times into the new times. It's old and it's futuristic at the same time, like Advanced Warfare and a little bit of Black Ops 2 as well. That is all the information I have right now. I probably knew a little bit more, but I did forget. 
as more information comes out I will present you guys with this but I thought you guys needed to see this I do um, endure you guys to go check out the original content go on Call of Duty for YouTube and check out the official Call of Duty Black Ops 3 trailer with the audio it is so clean and I love it and I can't wait for it but you know the drill leave a like comment and subscribe peace out zone nation